as an orthopedic surgeon, I did a lot of joint replacements and I found I really liked it. It's sort of a, a surgery that has a dramatic impact on the patients and their ability to enjoy life and walk and have fun with their family. And so that makes you feel very special that you can make that better. There are a couple different elements that lead to arthritis of the knee and hip. The, for most people it is just wear and tear and aging. The average person by the time they're 70 has some arthritis of the hip and some arthritis of the knee. Not all of those people need their joints replaced. Um, also, single insults can matter. For example, an old football injury or a, a car accident where they had sustained a fracture can lead to arthritis as well. I, I love how much the patients are appreciative of what I do. Um, it really sort of surprises me. We are not a, uh, a delicate surgery by any means, but a lot of the patients come back and really love the impact that it's had on their life, and they'll come into the office and, and be just incredibly grateful that we've been able to help them. I usually like to get to know them pretty well. I'd like to find out what things they're missing in their lives that they want to be able to do, and make sure that the surgery that, that, that we're planning will let them be able to achieve those goals. So I spend a little extra time with them at the start to make sure that I understand who they are. Secondly, I want to find out what things they've tried in order to avoid surgery. Okay, and that means most of them have tried some medications, some of them have had problems with the medications, some have had injections, some have even had prior surgeries trying to avoid needing their joint replaced. Um, and so I want to understand all of that and help them understand how a joint replacement could potentially help them.